We have um, software as a service uh, in virtual reality, which allows companies to meet and collaborate in a virtual space. Cool. We're encouraging companies to um, move their meetings into a virtual space, help them not only meet, but also co-create, collaborate, and run innovation workshops. And that will really save on uh, fuel for flights. Absolutely, when it comes to sustainability. Um, so rather than spending time and, and, and energy on, on traveling, you can just put the headset on and teleport yourself into your, uh, into your meeting yeah. from anywhere in the world. And I saw that you could actually have a meeting in space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's That's amazing. The case. From a workshop to 3D model review to, to a, a, a board meeting or an auditorium uh, keynote, Everything is possible in VR. They can as well be more creative mm -hmm. and use sort of collective intelligence um, to, to, to solve problems together. So the headsets are getting cheaper. But another thing is that we need to educate what can be done as the technology is developing super fast. Someone who has tried VR, let's say, two or three years ago and had some bad experience with it, can be really much surprised that it has changed so much that there's no drawbacks of using the technology. Make people more emphasize on the problems which are addressed in SDG rather than reading an article about you know, um, deforestation of rainforest. They can immerse themselves, immerse themselves into that environment. It could be um, a, tree, a story from a perspective of a tree to feel more empathy towards mm. the problems which are addressed uh, on, on the list. Yeah, so your technology actually enables empathy in people. Exactly. In five years, uh, this technology is going to be a norm in, a, in, a, in, most, in many companies. Great. Thank you so much.